the Concorde Room in Heathrow Terminal 5. For those in the know, it's the genuine British Airways First Class Lounge. And today I'm going to take you straight through the first wing, straight through the BA First Lounge, and into the exclusive Concorde Room for passengers travelling in first class. But this isn't the only Concord room in Heathrow Terminal 5. There is another one, a lesser known Concord room, and I'm going to show you around there too. The first wing is for British Airways first class passengers, BA Gold status holders and One World Emerald status holders. It's an oasis of calm partitioned from the main airport with its own dedicated check-in desks and security lane. After security, you're deposited directly into the British Airways first lounge, and this is where genuine first class passengers leave the status holders behind because although first class passengers are welcome to stay in here if they want, they can walk across the landing where they'll be welcomed into the real first class lounge called the Concord Room. Good morning. Good morning, how are hey, you? Very well, thank you, and you? I'm okay, the caffeine is flowing nicely. Perfect, thank you so much. Wonderful. Thanks so much. Enjoy. See you bye-bye. Good morning, how are you doing? Good, thanks, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. After being warmly welcomed twice on the way into the lounge, I took my first look around. The lounge is quite small, but it's only for a very small number of passengers, and this does lend to the enhanced exclusivity of the lounge. As I walked past the bar, I noticed what I'd describe as an odd mix of furniture with sofas and armchairs in reds, greys, blues, greens. Uh, there's the obligatory tall bar stools that I absolutely hate. There's some odd office chairs that don't really look that comfortable and some little cubicles hidden away at the back. You all right, sir? Good morning, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just wondering, it's my first time with Concord Room. Oh, you can sit anywhere in the lounge, wherever you feel comfortable. One of my colleagues would definitely come and give you the menu. Okay. To order something. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's what you I was saying. You can sit in the bar, anywhere you want. Right, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. There really is a lot of staff in here and I was well looked after by an incredible team. And if you work in the Concord Room, a hat tip to you. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Now, I don't normally notice things like soft furnishings, lamps, decorations, fireplaces, this kind of thing. Uh, if it was all beige armchairs in a row, I really wouldn't have even thought to mention it. So it must be a little bit unusual for the chairs and sofas to even be on my radar. The lounge is partitioned off nicely and it feels a bit like a quiet hotel lobby rather than airport departure lounge. And it's a quiet place to sit and significantly quieter than the first lounge across the way. There's some old Concord Curios in two display cabinets which are either side of a decorative fireplace. Did I mention it felt forced? The Charles and Dye stuff made me chuckle. It reminded me of the collectible wedding plates my gran used to have. They used to sit in a display cabinet not that dissimilar to this one. And there is some art dotted around the lounge which is more interesting than the usual airport lounge or hotel fair. One piece that was previously hanging in the Concord room was listed for sale by auction in 2020 with an estimated value of up to £1.2 million. The bog standard Concord edition. I've decided I'm going to rename my toilet reviews and call them the bog standard. If you're not from the UK this may seem a bit obscure but a bog is a slang name for a toilet and bog standard is a different slang term for something that's either basic or ordinary. Now the toilets in the Concord room are anything but bog standard. There is a piece of art from the collection on the wall and there are Elemis toiletries and there is also a bidet. I mean, how posh is that? I'd had a long drive down in the morning to my Just Park, which is just outside the charging zone, and it was time for something to eat. Although you can order from the same menu from any table in the Concord room, I took a booth in the dining room. And I really like these high-sided booths, which are nice from a privacy point of view, with the usual sombre British Airways executive colour scheme, which I actually don't mind one bit. It was breakfast service, and I stuck with my favourite breakfast of Eggs Benedict, although I did mix it up a bit by having Eggs Royale, uh, where the ham is swapped out with smoked salmon. This is a simple breakfast, but it is easy to mess up. The eggs can quickly become too hard, which can lead to some chefs to undercook the eggs with a runny white. But as you can see, my eggs were cooked to perfection. The chocolate on the cappuccino is in the shape of the BA Swish. A bit naff maybe, but I actually really liked it in a sort of kitsch kind of way. You really get an insight into my mind in this video, don't you? The wait staff were excellent and attentive without being the least bit overbearing. 
After breakfast, the lounge was becoming a bit busier, yet it felt like sitting in a library. I was keen not to disturb any other guests. I didn't want to get shushed. My one big regret was not visiting the bar. Although I saw them making cocktails regularly, I only got the slightest snippet of footage. You could just show it. <laughs> 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 <That's funny. laughs> I told you the staff were good, didn't I? I spent the rest of my time on the terrace, which is uh, where I head to when I'm in the first lounge as well. And it's my favourite area of the Concord Room too. There's no piped music out here. There's a view of the planes taxiing. Uh, and it was approaching noon, I guess, so I felt it was perhaps time to sample the champagne. And this was the Laurent Berrier Grand Siècle Champagne. After some time relaxing and plane watching, it was time to go and catch my flight to Barbados. Now, I don't hold the required status to access the Concord room, so I was flying first class, and when I arrived at my gate, I was faced with a big, noisy bus. If you'd like to see what it was like flying to Barbados in first class with British Airways, then I'll leave a link in the description. So that's the Concord Room, but what about the other Concord Room? This isn't clickbait, it's not a trick. There is an entirely separate Concord Room in Heathrow Terminal 5. I'm actually going to go into the arrivals lounge behind me. Never been into an arrivals lounge before, I've never really fancied it, but apparently when you're flying first class, there's a Concorde arrivals lounge, so I'm going to go and check it out. The Concorde breakfast room sits within the main British Airways arrivals lounge, which is on level one, so you have to go up one floor from arrivals, which is on level zero. The private dining room for first class passengers is only open for breakfast from 5am till 12 noon. The main lounge is open until 2pm. The lounge follows the same colour scheme as the dining area in the main Concord room upstairs with hardwood floors, beige and browns uh, and the same style marble top tables. And the walls have some art on them uh, and the similar nature of these pieces uh, makes me wonder in retrospect if these pieces are actually part of a series by the same artist. The menu is the same as the main lounge upstairs too and although I stuck with a cappuccino there was no Swish logo on this one. And I decided to change it up a little bit, I still had poached eggs, but I had the California eggs, which is poached eggs served with mashed avocado and chilli on sourdough toast. Now this was okay, but I've got to say eggs and avocado didn't really work for me, and chilli for breakfast? That was not a good move with a car near ahead of me. Bog Standard Part 2 the arrivals loo also had a nice piece of art, uh, it had Elemis toiletries, and it also had the fancy bidet. How swish. Once breakfast was complete, I decided to tour the main arrivals lounge, which is for British Airways Gold and One World Emerald status holders, and for business class passengers. However, this is only for passengers arriving on a British Airways or American Airways long haul flight. And due to the limited capacity of the arrivals lounge, you cannot guest anyone in. It is for card holders only. And it's a really nice space with good facilities and different areas separated off from each other. It's in this area with the private curtained off sections. Now, I thought this might be sleeping couches or beds, so I didn't want to get too nosy while I had my camera running. And then finally to the lounging area, which also leads to the baths and showers in the lounge. Now, I didn't have a bath, but if I find myself back here, then I'll bring a change of clothes and a separate bag and, and try these out. Now I'm going to go and find the bus and get a bus back to where I've parked the car. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, do please consider giving me a like. Uh, and, and if you haven't done already, consider subscribing to the channel. It would really help me out. Uh, so thank you for joining me flying first class with BA on my grey gap year.